upside down jellyfish, Cassiopeia andromeda. Hello and welcome back to Tim the Deep Blue Sea Species Spotlight Series with me Victoria. Today we're going to be talking about another one of my favourites, the upside down jellyfish. I hope you enjoy the video. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Cheers. Cassiopeia andromeda is one of many cnidarian species called upside down jellyfish. They live in shallow lagoons and mangroves in the Indo-Pacific. They are often mistaken for sea anemones as they have their bell facing downwards and their mouths facing upwards. They spend a lot of time on the sea floor but can also move by pulsing their bell, although this can be quite rare to see. Like with corals, the upside down jellyfish has a symbiotic relationship with zooxanthellae that live in its oral arms. The algae are provided with shelter and in return the zooxanthellae provide the jellyfish with up to 90% of its nutritional needs. The other 10% comes from feeding on zooplankton. The zooxanthellae is photosynthetic, so the jellyfish must stay in shallow water for the sunlight to be able to reach the algae. The jellyfish, using its stinging cells, pneumatocysts, to capture zooplankton, which are located in their oral arms, and they release a mucus. This is then consumed by mouths located on their oral arms. Unlike most jellyfish that have one central mouth, the upside down jellyfish has multiple smaller mouths. The adult stage of a jellyfish is called a medusa. In their medusa stage, the upside down jellyfish are able to sexually reproduce. The male will release sperm to fertilize the female's eggs. The female will then release these eggs. The eggs will then attach to substrate, as, and this is a stage known as a polyp. In polyp stage, they can reproduce asexually by strobulation. This is the budding medusa stage from a polyp, and multiple medusae can come from a single polyp. It is uncertain how long upside down jellyfish live in the wild, but in captivity they can live for around four years. They have not been evaluated for the IUCN red list. Some species of upside down jellyfish are considered invasive. Upside down jellyfish blooms have been recorded to reach up to 30 individuals per square metre. This can affect the surrounding environment by decreasing the oxygen content of the water and shifting the structure of the food chain by outcompeting other species and consuming a disproportionate number of zooplankton. They can sting humans with the reactions being recorded as mild to severe. They can grow to around 30 centimetres, have no brain, eyes or heart. They are a popular snack for things such as the ocean sunfish, Mola Mola, and the leatherback sea turtle. So that was my video all about the upside down jellyfish. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, why not give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and if there are any weird and wonderful creatures you would like me to cover, have your say down below. If you aren't already, please consider subscribing for more. That's all from me for now. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye for now. Cheers.